What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David and today we're gonna be making homemade exploding toothpaste. But before we begin, ingredients. Hey Ma! Oh, where can I find... <laughs> Why'd you get so excited? What? <laughs> where can I find... Uh, I need yeast and I need food coloring. Do we have? Let's find, 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 let's find. Right, I can never find anything in the house and you have to help me every time? Food coloring. What else? How many? Just one. Just one. One, 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 one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Hey, hold on. Let me get it. One, one. Yeast. I just got all of our ingredients. Quick recap of what we need. We need hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, yeast, and some food coloring. But we also need one more thing. We need something to put it in. I looked around my house and I couldn't find any like thing that could be interesting except for this. I think this is meant for like wine or something if you're trying to be a little fancy. I don't really know the measurements, so I'm just gonna kind of play around with this and see what happens. So yeah, let's get set up and get started. Little towel on the floor. All right, so let's begin. First things first, we got our hydrogen peroxide. Pour it in. I don't really know how much you need, but let's just go for it. We got about that much. Now we're gonna choose from our food coloring. I don't know what color to pick. I don't know what colors, but let's see what we have. All right, we have red, yellow, green, and blue. I don't know what color to pick, but my dish soap is blue. So I'm thinking, um, let's put more blue and just make it super blue. So we're gonna put a couple drops of the blue inside. Then we're gonna swish it around. Nice and blue! This actually looks so sick. This looks like mouthwash, Listerine. Now it says that we need a tablespoon of dish soap, so we're gonna pour that in there. That looks like a tablespoon. I hope. Look how cool this is! I feel like this is gonna make the biggest mess ever, but whatever. Let's cut open the yeast and pour that in. I just added some water, so let's mix this up. And before we do this, we always gotta get safety first. We got our goggles on. Check! And we're gonna throw on some gloves too. Now I really hope this isn't gonna mess up my floor, but if it does, um, I'm sorry mom and dad. All right, now we're ready to go, so let's try it out. All right, should I hold it like this so it all goes to one spot? I think so. Uh, nothing happened. Did I need more yeast? Luckily, we have another thing of yeast, so let's try it out. Oh, 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 oh! We got something! We got something! It's starting! Oh, man! This is so anticlimactic, guys. It's kind of cool though. But I was expecting some explosions. I think my portions were really off. I don't really know the measurements, so I'm just gonna kind of play around with this. And let's make this, let's make this more. I don't like what happened here, so we're gonna do this another time with smaller quantities and see what happens. Now here's the problem. I don't have any more hydrogen peroxide, so we're gonna go get some. All right, so we made it. Let's go get our hydrogen peroxide. So all they have is a spray, but we're gonna make it work. Let's go. When I started walking out of the store and got in my car, I realized that I'm still wearing these safety goggles and how stupid I must have looked walking around there looking for hydrogen peroxide and these safety goggles looking like a minion. But then I thought to myself, you know, the reason I have these was because in the beginning of the pandemic, we were all paranoid and I actually used to wear this when I used to go to like the market or something like that. So this isn't that weird. All right, we're back. We got ourselves some new hydrogen peroxide and we're gonna get this done. But this time we're gonna use a water bottle because I think that thing was way too big. So let me drink this real quick. I forgot to drink 
Drink your water. We're back. This time we got our water bottle. I'm gonna put it down. No. This is not going so smoothly. We're finally back with some more yeast. Finally. Let's get it done. We need half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Is that half a cup? A little bit more. I'm staying strong with my blue. Get a couple of drops of blue in. Um, it's a little more than a couple, but it's all good. Half a tablespoon of dish soap. Hope that's half a tablespoon. And now, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens this time. Let's see. All right, come on, come on. This is the most sorry attempt I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what's going on. Am I just getting the proportions like really off? I don't really know the measurements, so I'm just gonna kind of play around with this and see what happens. Or like, is it not mixing or like, what's the deal? All right, we got something, we got something. It's better than before. Still going, we still got it. This was so sad. Anyways, if you wanna see more failed experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm David. And don't forget to smile.